depuis octobre 2016. Précisons que jusqu'ici, le Parlement camerounais a refusé de débattre de cette question anglophone. Pourtant, le Parlement britannique vient de faire un rapport exhaustif sur la situation sociopolitique et économique dans les régions du nord-ouest et du sud-ouest. Maître Fru Johnson, comment vous appréciez l'attitude du Parlement camerounais sur la crise anglophone alors que en Angleterre, il y a eu déjà un rapport important euh, sur la genèse de la crise anglophone, sur les différentes réactions à la fois du gouvernement britannique et les différents acteurs de la crise au Cameroun. It is, it is regrettable because I want, I want to say here that Cameroon has no parliament. Cameroon has no parliament because since, the, since this parliament existed, they have never listened to any member of parliament. No law has been passed brought by a, pri a private member's bill. So you would you will remember that last year a certain party, Social Democratic Front, wanted the debate on this issue of what you call Chris Anglophone. It's now a war situation. They wanted a debate. The parliament dismissed that. But the foreign parliament, the British parliament, has given a, a very exhaustive debate on this issue. And I would, I would crave every Cameroonian who learns to, who wants, who likes reading, to read the conclusions of the debate of the British Parliament. A British Parliament which is not a Cameroonian Parliament. The Cameroon Parliament up to now has said nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing, as it concerns this, this, this conflict. I call it a conflict because if the CPDM, represented by the mayor here, if I listen to him, they are not interested in any negotiations. But as I said before, after every conflict in the world, anywhere in the world, people sit down and negotiate with the mediator. Mr. Bia can hold all the conferences he wants to hold. He can address his so-called parliament anytime he wants, as long as this issue has not been addressed with English-speaking Cameroonians directly. Those who control the Northwest and the Southwest is not this government. I am a political observer. I have seen what the interim government of the so-called Ambazonia has done in the Northwest and Southwest. They control every action in the Northwest and Southwest, whether it's uh, uh, ghost towns, whether it's the, 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 the way the conflict is being oper uh, operated, they control. And if you are sitting here and telling us that you will not negotiate with terrorists, but you can negotiate with Boko Haram, even certain victims of Boko Haram, even certain criminals of Boko Haram, who are members of Boko Haram, pay them money, you would want to remember that the Nigerian government, when it started, accused Cameroon of financing Boko Haram because you were paying ransom. The first ransom you paid was fresh, seven French men who were captured by Boko Haram. You paid. There are many other people, Ahmadi Ali's family. You paid. But now when it comes to us,